So I am gonna be trying the one billion dollar morning routine. I am fascinated by routines. I'm fascinated by people who have routines. I think routines are amazing and I totally believe that there is a science to having a routine, have building habits, successful habits. All these successful people always blabbing on about their morning routine, then there's gotta be something to it. Will this make me a billionaire? I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna see. It's pretty extensive, not gonna lie. Start this routine at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. It is now Sunday, Monday morning, starting it strong. I'm gonna give it my all for you guys, and I'm gonna see, will this make a difference to my day? Will this make me work better? Will this give me more energy? I don't, I really don't know. I'm excited because who doesn't wanna be a billionaire? You know what I mean? If these billionaires are doing these things, duh, just do it too. One billion dollar morning routine starts now. Oh. Good morning, guys. Kind of regret this. <laughs> the first thing on my list is to recall my dreams. I can't seem to do, I can't remember any of my dreams. I can't remember any of my dreams, but he says that recalling your dreams is super important because it uh, unlocks your subconscious mind and all your things throughout the day, um, problems, uh, thoughts, blah, blah, blah. It carries on into the night and it's your subconscious trying to figure things out. So that's why it's super important to recall, but I just can't recall them. So I've already failed. <laughs> <laughs> so studies say that the reason why making your bed is so important for your everyday routine is it starts your day off in a successful way by building that successful habit and when you go to bed at the end of the night in a perfectly made bed you also end your day off in a successful way so that's why it's so important and here's me brushing my teeth there's no way i was not brushing my teeth and i can't believe he didn't put it on his list Okay, I need to put some contacts in because I can't, I can't see anything. Hallelujah! <sighs> what the hell do I have to do next? Drink a tall glass of water and take my vitamins, uh, probiotics. on my list is a breathing exercise or meditation and um, I think I'm gonna do a guided meditation this morning because I do feel like if I do it by myself this early I will fall asleep. Guided meditation for positive energy, relaxation and peace. If it's good I will link it down below. So the emotional benefits of meditation are being able to build skills that manage your stress being able to reduce your negative emotions, increasing your self-awareness and focusing on the present. I know it's really hard at first, that's why guided med meditations are so great because they kind of guide you through it, but even just taking deep breaths and focusing on your breath is so powerful and can really help just stabilize your stress and your anxiety and I think, you know, take five minutes a day, just do this for yourself and I'm sure you'll find um, and feel a big difference. And all these gurus, all these successful people, they praise meditation. So I believe, you know, they're not chatting shit, so we might as well do it too. <laughs> Alrighty, bye. That was genuinely so nice. I actually felt like I was gonna cry at one point. I have to say, I do feel a little sleepy. I don't feel as energized as I would want to after a meditation, but I feel very positive, light, and flowy. Okay, now, now on to the next thing, which I'm just not sure how I feel. One to two minutes of movement. What does that mean? I 
Okay, that should do. Cold shower. I don't know. Mm, I really don't want to do that. But, okay, I committed to this. If this is what it takes, I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie and say that I did it because I didn't. I probably in total had cold water on me for I'd say 20 seconds because I kind of switched it on, switched it off, switched it on, switched it off. Maybe this is a challenge I'm gonna have to do in the future. I just don't know if that's how I'm gonna start my day. Oh, shut up. Shut up, you. I've had enough. I've had enough. On the list, it's do your normal routine. So I assume that's when he brushes his teeth. So I'm gonna do my morning skincare, I guess and wash my face and I'm going to probably brush my teeth again because I'm a psychopath um, brush my teeth at least five times a day I don't know, is it just me? I just have really bad OCD with those things like I used to take a toothbrush and toothpaste to school okay, I'm just going in with some face to wash pat dry with a towel not completely dry because your hyaluronic acid works ten times better on a damper face as it locks in the moisture. I'm not going to bother with toner this morning. Whilst that sinks in, I'm going to put some deodorant on. Okay, okay. Oops. Okay, now that that's set in, I'm going to put just some CeraVe moisturizing lotion to the L'Oreal uh, Revitalift Hyaluronic Acid Filler Eye Cream. And I really like this eye cream. Put it a bit under my eye. Done. I need to stop looking in the viewfinder and posing all the time. It's horrible. It's horrible. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Change real quick into sweats because working from home, I don't get people who wear an outfit just to work from a home. Like, why on earth would you do that to yourself? I don't get it. We're back in exactly the same jumper. <laughs> Okay, so this is potentially my favorite part of the morning thus far. He tells us to make some tea, so I made some strawberry tea. It's time to journal, but I'm gonna set the tone because that's just part of it for me. Tone set, write in journal. So I guess it's just a journal passage. Then a to-do list, a to-feel list, and a to-be list. I love that. I love journaling. If anyone knows me, they know how much I like journaling. I've spoken about it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and journal and then start on these lists. I genuinely, genuinely cannot praise journaling enough. There's one thing you wanna take from this video is to try and journal. Many people overthink it and think, I don't know what to write. Just start, literally just start with how you feel. You can say, I feel okay today. And then you'll lead on and it will flow. But honestly, just putting your feelings out onto paper is such a great outlet and an amazing way of reflection. So please try it today. You got this. Okay, I'm done and honestly, this was so peaceful and lovely. Um, I'm just gonna show you a little overview. Obviously not of my journal passage because that's very private. Here is my to do, to feel, and to be. So for my to feel, I put peace from within, to feel connected with my creativity. Thirdly, to be in control of my cravings. And for my to be, I said more patient. I'm pretty patient with other people, I find, but sometimes I can be very impatient with myself. This day and age, we always feel like there's some sort of race to get to the finish line or that you see someone doing it quicker than you. And we can get so off track when we focus too much about everything around us. And I feel like, we need to be more patient with ourselves and need to know and be fine with the fact that everything happens at the right time. My battery actually died, so it's just charging now, but I wanted to continue filming. Um, so to be more aligned with my sensitivity, sometimes I can cover up my sensitivity because I, of a way of protecting myself, if that makes sense. I am super sensitive and I know that, and I'm also 
blessed to be like that because I think it's a good thing to be sensitive but because I've been hurt a lot in the past sometimes I just naturally kind of play the more oh, it doesn't really affect me even though it does and I think I shouldn't be ashamed no one should be you know covering up their sensitivity so that is something I'd like to work up work on being more aligned with my sensitivity that was my little list now my task is to read for 20 minutes so I'm gonna read my book okay, so my camera's charging so I just thought I'd do a little reading time lapse it's weird to me that it's 6 30 and I'm reading that to me is a little strange. Uh. Nice. Now I think it's time to make a smoothie. If I remember my list correctly. And it is time to make a smoothie, which is good because I'm really hungry. Blender broke, so I'm gonna have to use a little food processor. Yummy. Mmm. Wow, I haven't had a smoothie in so long. And now, last thing on my list is start my day. I guess that's my one billion dollar morning routine done. Checking my bank account. No, it hasn't come through yet, but one day it's all right, it's all right. So, I am sorry. I'm going to drink my smoothie, which is so nice. I added spirulina, which doesn't taste um, like anything. I think that's why it's made it this very lovely color. It is 6.55 in the morning. No, you can't see it. But okay, trust me, it is 6, 6.55, which is a bit early, in my opinion, to start my day. I've done so much. Like I've read, I've journaled, I've showered, I did two minutes of movement i meditated like i feel great i feel absolutely great and i'm not mad about starting my day so early like keep this up i'm definitely going to keep up the meditation because i really enjoyed doing that guided meditation i'm going to link it down below because it was really great i'm definitely i mean i always do the journaling but i love the to feel and to be i really like that it really sets some good intentions for the week and yeah good gravy it's snowing I already died on that dramatic moment, but it is April the 5th and it is snowing outside. Like, what? Can you see the snow? Look. Look at that. I actually cannot believe it. <laughs> Anyways, I guess it makes for a cozy day, cozy snow day. I really enjoy doing this. I feel full of energy. Um, and it's seven o'clock in the morning. I feel great. I feel like I could literally run a marathon. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this has inspired some of you to take the challenge, change up your habits, push yourself. And yeah, may we all have a great week ahead. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please comment, subscribe. I always get shy at the end of my videos. I just don't know what to say. <laughs>